LinkedIn is the most powerful online relationship building platform. Sadly, a lot of people only think about LinkedIn when it comes to looking for a job. What they don't realize is that LinkedIn is a great way to actually give back to your connections. And that's where the magic of relationship building happens. Not when you're trying to get stuff, but when you're supporting the people who you're connected to. 85% of all Americans have a LinkedIn profile. And the chances are that you're connected to some very important people who you could recommend highly. It's so easy to do this on LinkedIn and will make a dramatic impact on the people you do this for. Let me show you how you can do this. So I'm going to go to share screen right now and I'm pulling up my LinkedIn homepage. Uh, you can click on that home icon if you're not on that page. And then when I click on the search bar, I'm gonna to go to one of my connections, Blake. I've recently been talking with Blake via LinkedIn, so that's why he was there. I could have just entered his name into LinkedIn and found him. And Blake is somebody who I know very well through the Rotary Club of Portland. We are both members of that organization. And for me, recommending Blake is a very easy thing to do. So all I need to do is when I'm connected to someone in the first degree, I just click on that more button. I go down to recommend. And what it's asking is just a couple of simple lines of information. One is how I'm connected to Blake and I look down at these categories. I would say mentorship is probably the best one for me to select. So I'm gonna put it in there. And how I know Blake through what company ever since I've been connected with Blake, he's been at Cressa, the most current positions on the top. So I'm gonna click on that one. And then I get into Blake's profile. And here there's a blank spot. This is gonna be a little bit like those cooking shows where the host pulls the cake out of the oven 10 minutes into the show. I'm gonna do the same thing here virtually with my recommendation. So I have actually created that for Blake ahead of time in Word and I've just pasted it into this document. So when you create a recommendation for somebody on LinkedIn, the most important thing is that you're just speaking from the heart. It doesn't have to be perfectly worded it doesn't have to sound like it was written by a marketing guru. Just share your experience with that person. Now, in the case of Blake, I know him well through Rotary. Uh, he has been a dynamic force in our under 40 program, both in recruiting members for it and making sure it's a great program. He also serves on our board of trustees, which I'm the president of, so I'm speaking about that. And I can honestly say that Blake is an incredibly well-rounded person. He takes care of his family, friends, and his community and his work connections with a lot of grace. Uh, and it's very easy for me to write this. When you get good at writing recommendations for people, it only takes you anywhere from about five to 10 minutes to write a recommendation like this one. The key, don't write too much. One to 100 to 200 words is about perfect. And then you just are gonna click send when it's done. It's popping up that I uh, can't do this because I've already recommended him. I did this ahead of time, that's why it's popping up. If not, I would have gotten a little green uh, box saying, hey, your recommendation just went on, Blake can approve it. And uh, why is that so powerful? Well, think about it this way. When is the last time somebody who's written a recommendation for you on LinkedIn without your asking for it? The dirty little secret about LinkedIn is most recommendations are there because people ask for them. When you become a person who spontaneously recommends the people that you know without their request, you oftentimes will be a category of one. You'll be the only person who's ever recommended them without them asking for it. And this puts you in a, a totally different uh, position in their mind. Robert Cialdini wrote a great book called Influence, and he talks about this notion of reciprocity. When you serve others and you do something good for them, they're going to want to return that to you. So go out, write recommendations for people who you really know well enough to do that for, and amazing things will come back to you. Now, don't overthink this. Think of one person right now who you can recommend. And before the week is through, I want you to go out there and write that rec recommendation. I'm confident that if you do this once, you're gonna get some great feedback. You're gonna to wanna to do it over and over again because there is no more powerful thing you can be doing on social media. Five minutes a week, writing a LinkedIn recommendation can have a significant impact on the quality of your relationship with that person. Good luck with it and make it a great week.